Hey y'all, it's Kitty and I have some recent purchases and what am I going to call this unboxing? I'm going to call it a dorky purse unboxing because <laughs> I don't even know what brand of purse this is. I just saw it on QVC and couldn't resist it, but it's a kind of a dorky purse. So I'm going to do that. So first with the recent purchases, I... This first purchase is from Amazon and I saw it's a wallet and I saw this wallet in a what's in my purse video. It wasn't this exact wallet, but it was this type of wallet and I was like, well, yeah, I have to have one of those and I've already looked at it. So the, the case is already, the tissue's already broken. So there it is in the box. Isn't that pretty? Look at those balls on top. That's kind of what sold me on the purse. It feels like um, patent leather and this is a light pink. And here's a zipper pocket. Usually zipper pockets like this I never use but it's got a pretty lining and then it opens like this. Hello, I see you. It looks like that. And then these two balls open to show a coin purse. And then you close it like that. So I thought that was super, super cute. This is a really, really heavy wallet and I, I, it must be the metal. It doesn't really feel like it's coming from anywhere else. Okay. And then I went to TJ Maxx. Um, the TJ Maxx in my town, we used to only have one and it was a long way away. So I would hardly ever go to it, which is why you don't see a lot of TJ Maxx hauls for me but they just recently opened one on my side of town, but it's kind of a little ways out of town. And when yesterday when I was going to it, I, uh, it took a long time to get there, even though it's on my side of town. And I got home after going there and I Google mapped both locations and it turns out they're the same distance from me. So yeah, that's annoying. Ooh, shopper problems. Anyway, I really liked this one though because it's really new and because it's kind of out of town, there weren't a whole lot of people there. In fact, I think I didn't even see any other people in the store besides myself when I went there. And it was like 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. So anyway, it was nice, new, and uncrowded. So the first thing I got was this makeup bag. And I love watermelon. I thought this was super cute. It's really too big for a purse, but it would um, be good for traveling somewhere. And it was actually on the clearance. And I got it for $10. And here's the brand and the tag. got two sides nothing unusual on that side and this side has a pocket right here that'd be good for brushes you know usually I have bad luck with clearance sections I see other people on YouTube get such great deals and good stuff in clearance sections but I have bad luck and then I also got this makeup case. This one will be good for a purse. This one was also $10. And I thought these flowers were so cute. And these are good, these little sports sacks. These are nice little bags. And then it's got another compartment here. And then I got this headband. 
It's got a bow. And it's really soft and fuzzy. And it's got little roses on it. Y'all know how I feel about roses. And there's the tag. They had, um, actually quite a few of these with different patterns. Yeah, this is super cute. This was also on the clearance shelf. It's a gold leaf gardenia bath bar. These things are expensive little suckers, even at TJ Maxx. And I paid $3. Mmm. Smells so good. I like flower scents. I actually, um, the purse section was very, very nice. I didn't see any Doonies. I saw a couple Michael Kors. Um, I actually had in my hand a Nine West tote that was like black with really pretty um, white, pink, and blue flowers on it, and I had it in my hand. I put it back. Yeah, I was able to restrain myself, but I was not able to restrain myself from this. It is a Kate Spade wallet. They had it in this color, and they also had it in um, yellow. Same pattern, but yellow. And they had a cosmetic case to match the yellow one. So there's a zipper here. What is that? Oh, it's cute. It says Kate Spade. And then I thought this was really cute. It opens with a snap, but it's kind of a hidden snap. And there's the inside. Really simple. What color is that? It's a cream color. Holy moly. Here's the original price tag. Whew, that's a dear little piece. What did I pay? I never understood these TJ Maxx tags. So what did this price tag say? This one said 128, but this one says compare at 100, and then that's what I pay. Why does it say compare at 100 when the original price is 128? Hmm. I don't know. I don't even know if 50 is a good deal for this. Seemed like it was, but I really like it. Does anybody know are these good wallets? Seems like I've heard they are. It feels really nice. Certainly nicer than a Dooney wallet. Okay, the reason I put back the Nine West tote is because I saw these and I didn't really want to, um, they were the same price and I didn't want to spend the money on both. And it's a pair of earrings and they're pearl, but they're really unusual, large, funny shaped pearls. What are these called? This kind of pearl has a name. Shoot, I should know because I love pearls. Well, anyway, they're not round or perfect and they have flaws, but I thought they were so pretty. And the regular price is 35 and I paid $24.99. Anyway, I thought these were nicer than the purse. If you ever see pearls like this, I say get them because I know people are into the perfect round ones, but these are just so much more like Mother Nature, you know, kissed them than a perfect little pearl. So I got those instead of the purse. And now for the dorky purse unboxing. I don't know how I'm gonna film this, because I'm wearing a brown shirt and black pants and I don't really want anybody to see that because I know I usually tilt the camera. But this isn't really, it's not a Dooney, it's not a Michael Kors. Like I said, I don't even remember the, the brand name. And actually there's a little story on why I bought it. I don't know, I saw it on QVC, it was on clearance. And something about the shape was sentimental to me. And I don't know why. And when I show you the purse, maybe somebody out there can tell me if the shape of this purse is significant in some way. Like, was it popular in the 70s or something? 
because that's what I'm thinking is that I remember it from when I was a little girl. Okay. I'm going to do this without showing my ugly legs. My ugly black panted legs. Okay, here we go. Like I said, this purse was on super clearance. I don't even remember the brand. And I'm warning you, it is a very dorky looking purse. It says Emma and Sophia. So I've never heard of that brand. coated cotton. Anyway, I just loved that pattern. And I think you can see what I mean by dorky purse. Look at the handles. Boy, they stick up like they're saying hello to the sun. So does this bag shape look familiar to anybody? Is it significant in some way? I keep thinking I remember it from when I was a little girl. Was it popular in the 70s? Does anybody know? I don't know. I just saw it and really liked it. Even though the handles are very dorky. So let's look at them up close. This is a nice little well-made bag. I thought it would be... A lot cheesier than it is. Okay. It's a close up of it. Oh, and there's the name. This purse really spoke to me. I have no idea why. It's a shoulder strap. And here's the hardware. It seems really well made. Like the stitching. It's got a nice detail on it. Look at this, how they finished that off with a little knot. Here's the little tag. Good grief. I had a lot of stuffing in this purse. This is a really nice, well made little bag for what I paid for it. How much did I pay for it? 40, which I guess really isn't cheap. And I can't remember what um, the regular price is, but here's the inside. So it's got a zip pocket over there and then it's got a magnetic closure. And then on the other side, it's got two slip pockets. And the lining just feels like you know, the regular cotton polyester blend. Yes, I think it just sort of reminded me of the 70s. Oh, I paid 44. Emma and Sophia floral printed canvas Dakota. Shopper with tan. 
in the color ivory floral. I think um, they had one that that's black in the background, but when I went to buy this one, they were sold out of the black. So they just had the ivory floral left. Hey, I know it's dorky, but I like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.